Chapter 29. Lev. More than a thousand miles away, Lev is about to arrive as well. The destination, however, is not his own. It's Cyrus Finch's. Joplin, Missouri. Home of the Joplin High Eagles, reigning state champions of girls' basketball, Sci-Fi says. You know a lot about the place. I don't know anything about it, Sci-Fi grumbles. He knows, or knew, or whatever. Their journey has gotten no easier. Sure, they have money now, thanks to Lev's deal at that pawn shop, but the money's only good for buying food. It can't get them train tickets, or even bus tickets, because there's nothing more suspicious than underage kids paying their own fare. For all intents and purposes, things between Lev and Sci-Fi are the same, with one major unspoken exception. Sci-Fi might still be playing the role of leader, but it's Lev who is now in charge. There's a guilty pleasure in knowing that Sci-Fi would fall apart if Lev weren't there to hold him together. With Joplin only 20 miles away, Sai's twitching gets bad enough that even walking is difficult for him. It's more than just twitching now. It's a shuddering that racks his body like a seizure, leaving him shivering. Lev offers him his jacket, but Sai just swats him away. I ain't cold. It's not about being cold. It's about being wrong. It's all about there being oil and water in this brain of mine. Exactly what Sai must do when he gets to Joplin is a mystery to Lev, and now he realises that Sai doesn't know either. Whatever this kid, or this bit of kid in his head is compelling him to do, it's completely beyond Sai's understanding. Lev can only hope that it's something purposeful, and not something destructive, although Lev can't help but suspect that whatever this kid wants, it's bad. Really bad. Why are you still with me, Fry? Sci-Fi asks after one of his body-shaking seizures. Any sane dude would have taken off days ago. Who says I'm sane? Oh, you're sane, Fry. You're so sane you scare me. You're so sane, you're insane. Lev thinks for a while. He wants to give Cyrus a real answer, not just something that chases away the question. I'm staying, Lev says slowly, because someone has to witness what happens in Joplin. Someone's got to understand why you did it. Whatever it is. Yeah, says Sci-Fi. I need a witness. That's it. You're like a salmon swimming upstream, Lev offers. It's inside you to do it, and it's inside me to help you get there. Salmon. Sai looks thoughtful. I once saw this poster about a salmon. It was jumping up this waterfall, see? But there was a bear at the top, and the fish, it was jumping right into the bear's mouth. The caption beneath, it was supposed to be funny, said... The journey of a thousand miles sometimes ends very, very badly. There's no bear in Joplin, Lev tells him. He doesn't try to cheer Sai up with any more analogies, because Sai is so smart, he can find a way to make anything sound bad. 130 IQ points all focused on cooking up doom. Lev can't hope to compete with that. The days go by, mile by mile, town by town, until the afternoon they pass a sign that says, Now entering Joplin. Population 45,504.